Initial details about Figure's next advanced AI robot are in. Figure AI founder Brett Adcock gave Herbert Ong, host of the Brighter with Herbert podcast, a private preview of the Figure 3 robot. The host said he can't reveal details publicly, but Adcock revealed some tidbits during their hour-long discussion. And uh, yeah, Figure 3 is impressive. I know I'm not allowed to talk about it, so I'll restrain on that, but uh, it's a huge leap. We will, um, yeah, our goal is as we enter next year is to really start scaling out the number of robots we have pretty substantially. Um, there, um, I think we're hitting an inflection point now where um, the robots are really working really well. Uh, we need to learn how to do uh, production at high rate. We need to learn how to get costs down substantially and we need to learn how to run, run thousands of robots. And he said the Figure 3 will be the startup's first production-level robot. Plans call for production at scale starting in 2025, with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. The third iteration is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Figure is seen as perhaps the top competitor to Tesla, as both companies race to mass-produce their humanoid robots. Tesla has an edge in going to market because of its experience in large-scale manufacturing and its in-house AI. I think it's a space where the most important, perhaps, businesses in our lifetime are going to be built and the biggest. So we need to be very thoughtful about this. And um, Tesla is certainly a really great, thoughtful company. Elon Musk recently said the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot will likely need three major iterations to reach a highly refined version. Um, so the you could expect that in high volume, uh, and, and I'd say that you also probably need three three production versions of Optimus. So you need to refine the design th three at least three major times, and and then you need to scale production to sort of the million unit plus per year level. Mm. And I think at that point, the cost, the, the, the you know, the, the, the labor and materials on Optimus is probably not much more than $10,000. The EV automaker plans to manufacture a limited number of Tesla bots for internal use in factories in 2025 with wider availability slated for 2026. Musk expects the robot to reach a production scale of 1 million units annually within five to six years. At, at scale volume with three major iterations of technology, and, and so if a small car, you know, costs twenty-five thousand dollars, you know, it, it's it's probably like a I don't know twenty thousand dollars for for an Optimus, for a humanoid robot that can be your your body like a combination of R two D two and C three PO, but better. Yeah. Um, the OpenAI back figure announced its first AI robot in March 2023. The second iteration was unveiled in August 2024. Figure calls the Figure 2 the most advanced and first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot on the planet. During another recent interview, Adcock told futurist Peter Diamandis the robot will be available for home use after it gains footing in manufacturing. Three years, five years, eight years? Uh, I would say within the next three years, we'll definitely have robots piloting in homes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I want to volunteer early on. Yeah. I'll pay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll probably start with some mock homes here in our facilities and start you know getting the bugs worked out understanding how to so the system architectures all work but uh I'm, I'm interested in seeing what problems we face that we're not prepared for that are limiting our ability to get in the home long term as well adcock believes the robot could eventually cost about twenty thousand dollars which is the same price point tesla is targeting the figure two has tripled the computing power of its predecessor standing about 1.7 meters tall the robot has six cameras to see and understand its surroundings it communicates with people using built-in microphones and speakers. Its human-like hands can carry up to 50 pounds. Its foot design is more human-like than the figure one, suitable for a sneaker fitting. Its battery runs for about five hours, a 50% improvement. Figure AI accelerated the robot's development using Isaac Sim, a reference application built on NVIDIA's Omniverse platform. The synthetic data was used to design, train, and test the robot. According to NVIDIA, a second RTX GPU on board makes the robot three times faster at performing AI tasks compared to the original model. The Figure 2 recently completed a successful round of testing at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. During its trial, the robot inserted sheet metal parts, which requires considerable dexterity that couldn't previously be achieved with robots. 
the robot will be back to work at the plant permanently starting in January 2025. The founder told TechCrunch the robots work nearly 24 hours, seven days a week during the pilot. Figure plans to expand to a nearby facility as it scales production.